Welcome! So glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to do a St. Patrick's Day book tag. I couldn't not do a St. Patrick's Day book tag. I love Ireland. I lived in Ireland for a semester in college. I am going back to Ireland in the fall for two weeks and I'm so excited. And St. Patrick himself is very dear to me. I just love his story. So, yeah. So I took this tag from the questions in Elizabeth Newsom, her channel, and I will link her in my description box. She's super cute. You should check her out. She linked to the original tag, but the tag was broken. So I will try to figure out where the original tag came from, and if I find it, I'll put it in the description box as well. Without any further ado, let's get to it. Question number one is your favorite green colored book or movie. So my first thought was, ooh, movie? Well, I have to go with <sighs> my extended edition Fellowship of the Ring because it makes me very happy. For a book, my first thought was Curio by Evangeline Denmark, but it's in this lovely green stack of books on my shelf right here and I didn't want to dig it out. I have so many beautiful green books. So I went with Siren Song by Mary Weber. I think that the covers in this trilogy are gorgeous. Question number two, your favorite St. Patrick's Day themed book. I am going to cheat and I'm going to say How the Irish Saved Civilization, which is a nonfiction book uh, by Thomas Cahill. I read this book when I was studying abroad in Ireland and I love it. And if you want to learn more about the rich Irish history, I recommend it. <laughs> Question three, corned beef and cabbage, a book that made you hungry. <laughs> this might be kind of funny to some people, but I was, my first thoughts were, <laughs> yes, the cover is ripped off because I've read this so many times, uh, Crown Duel and The Thief and other books where there are heroes on a journey or a quest and running through the woods, whatever. It always just sticks out to me like, oh, what are we eating? Olives and cheese and, and bread and hopefully it's fresh. I don't know. It's not like there are sumptuous feasts that are making me hungry. It's usually like I'm on this journey with you and I'm so hungry and I would be so grateful for some olives right now. I don't know. So question four, a four leaf clover, a book or item that was a rare find or a good luck find. So, I don't know, this one was kind of stumping me. I thought about going with some of the random UK editions of Brandon Sanderson, book, Sanderson books that I found at Half Price Bookstore, which were super exciting because those are gorgeous. But they're, I have the Irish flag on my shelf in books right now. So they're building that up because white. They're great white books. So I'm going to go with Blaze of Silver by K.M. Grant. I found this super good condition hardcover copy at my library bookstore years ago, but this was a trilogy that I had been reading in junior high, high school, and I can't remember why I never read the third book, but I, I, but I started looking for it everywhere and I could never find it, and then one day I just happened upon it, and I still haven't read it because I want to reread the first two books, and anyway, kind of set in the Crusades and lots of adventures, and it's the De Granville trilogy, if you're interested. Question five, Irish whiskey, a book so bad that you would need a drink to get over it. So I really hate bashing books. Uh, if I don't like a book, I'm normally just not going to talk about it. I like to promote books, especially because I read a lot of books by people who don't have a wide audience. So if I don't like it, it's not like people are in danger of picking their book up. I would rather show people like, hey, you need to read this book because it's good, and if it's not good, people might not find it anyway, so whatever. But I did have an... <laughs> I just really was disappointed in, in First Life. I was really disappointed. I didn't even finish it. I DNF'd it, as you might have seen in one of my other videos. So I guess I'm going to count this. Um, some Irish, whis Irish whiskey after this would be good. Mm. On a happier note... Question six, Irish dancing, a book so good, it makes you want to dance in excitement. I'm going to go with Miss Bourne. Ah, uh, really, like there's dancing and flailing of arms and happiness when I was reading this book and such. It's, it's so good. It's so good. If you haven't read Brandon Sanderson yet, start here. That's my recommendation. Question seven, 
Ireland, a book that made you want to travel to a different country. I'm gonna go with Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have heard a lot of people romanticize Prague throughout my life and I've seen pictures and it's fine, but for some reason it just, it never stuck with me as, oh, I want to go there someday until I read this book and I realized, oh, Prague. That's a place I would love to go someday. Well, one, it would be an amazing place to go, but two, Lainey Taylor is just so good at painting pictures and making you feel like you're there that it really is this beautiful fairy tale setting. Question eight, the pub. A meeting place from a book that you would love to meet people at. Uh, I, I have to go with The Prancing Pony. I even have... I even have a Prancing Pony candle. It smells like fireplace, brown sugar, and tobacco. And it is from the Turkish Candle Company. This one is very strong on the tobacco for me. She has a tea with Tumnus candle that smells amazing. And those are the only two I actually have. But this is nice if you want to, like, have a candle that smells like a fire. So that is this year's St. Patrick's Day tag. I'm sure I'll find other ones or invent my own for more years to come because I just love St. Patrick's Day. I'm actually going to be in Chicago for this St. Patrick's Day just by coincidence, so I'm gonna get to see the river dyed green. Honestly, I was in Dublin for St. Patrick's Day when I lived there. I'm glad it happened once, but it's kind of a one-time experience for me. But I'm wearing some earrings I picked up in Ireland. Okay, Awkward Stephanie is going away now. Thanks for showing up. I hope you enjoyed and I, uh, I blah, blah, mm, mm. Um, I'm going to pass this tag off to Emily at Create Explore Read and to Christine at Lost Books Tribe. I will tag you below. I'm passing these off to you guys and anyone else if you want to do this tag you are welcome to it. Let me know so I can come watch. If you liked this like subscribe comment definitely comment let me know do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? What's your favorite thing to do for St. Patrick's Day? I would love to know. Until next time ciao! You see me you see me you see me now you don't now you see me. Okay it's still really exposed. Ah. This is my brother he is the best. Ah.